Hey guys, Waller D here, and what the hell, Rolling Rock, is this a stage with beer in it? Probably not, it's actually, right, it's actually being literal. There is a Rolling Rock chasing me, and I have to be quick, because the way to beat this level is to beat the rock, basically. <coughs> so it's kind of like a race. Problem is, I'm failing that race miserably. Well, maybe not miserably, but, wow, I'm screwing up big time. Oh, crap. And if you hit the rock, you kind of have to restart the level when you take a shitload of damage, apparently. Or maybe that's just the damage from the boss fight that I did. <coughs> Alright, so basically you just need to be quick here. That's the way to beat this level, and if you're extremely quick, I think you can get a gold gem. Let's see. Let's see if this is a shortcut or something. Excuse me. Alright. I don't know if I'm extremely quick, but there is a nice little diversion. And I kind of... Oh, there it is. Of course, this game likes to play the little... Hey, pick the right hole, pick the right hole! But that one's pretty simple. Once you learn how to get through that area as quickly as possible. Hey, I got a B ranking. Sweet. Totally raw. Wow. Pun. Alright, so this guy's pretty interesting. This guy isn't too hard. Basically, the way to damage him is to throw his tongue back at him, but you can also do this, which is even more hilarious. And by extremely hilarious, how often have you seen someone get their... someone slammed by their... by the tongue, seriously. Of course... Uh, oh, what the hell? Don't be doing this. Crap. Ow. Well, I got eight, or I got eaten. That's a pretty messed up game. And I think this is a way to, um, well, get the gold gem here. S slamming him enough so we can knock the shit out. Or kill him. That makes sense, too. Wow. But yeah, that's basically the mini boss in a nutshell. It's not very hard at all. But, wow, that guy. That boss, mini boss, got totally fucked up. Seriously. Excellent, sweet. And now, oh no, seven Clancer kids. Oh shit. Okay, guys. Here's the story. Are you Marina? Long time no see. It's me. Don't you remember me? The three kids that you found. Oh shit. Of course I remember. Does that mean I need to find the three kids again? Well, nothing gets by you, but there's now seven kids to be found. I added a few. <laughs> are you serious? What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um... Don't ask, guys. I think you probably, if you know any windows, that was one of them. Anyways, my kids haven't come home yet. I'm worried. Please look after them. Alright, leave everything to me. Okay, so we gotta find seven kids, and this stage can be a pain. Uh, but, uh, here's some advice. You see those red gems in front of the openings? Basically, that's a good way of it, or a good indicator that you've been in these areas, because every lot of things look the same, and oh great, we get this guy first. <clears throat> and this guy, and the way these mini-bosses work, that there's... Yeah, the, each kid is gonna be a mini-boss. And there's only three types of these mini-bosses, and this is one of them. This is probably the hardest one, in my opinion. Or maybe the second hardest one. Mainly because you have to be patient. Wait for it to give you a bomb instead of a spike ball. Because if you touch a spike ball, it's obviously going to hurt. Oh, crap. And trust me, you could probably do a lot of damage to yourself just grabbing spike balls. Ow. See, it's a quick action. Oh, there's a freaking kid. Oh. Marina, is that you? Good heavens! Do you remember me? I'm the kid with the fast moves. That's me! Will you also help my brothers? I'll tell the whole story later. Please give us a hand. Alright. So that kid remembered me. Sweet. Alright, remember the time I shook all them gems from, maybe. Maybe I'm just thinking another thing. Oh, here's another kid. This kid looks a little familiar. All right, so this is probably gonna be a different kind of mini boss, and here, here's probably the easiest one, I would say. 
It's kind of reason being you, you can dodge that crazy laser attack, which does look awesome, but it's not very hard to dodge. You just to stand under it, really. Though I'm sure it does a shitload of damage if you get hit by it. And he does like to trick you up a bit, but that's pretty much all you need to do. Sup, guy? Thanks, Marina. That was close. A lady named Kalina used magic on us. Thanks for your help. See ya. So I think maybe he, maybe that's not an older or the older kids, though he looks a little familiar. All right, sweet. Up, oh, sup, little guy. You're being taken over by evil magic, right? All right, and this one is probably the most annoying, cause you, and possibly the hardest. I would probably say it is, cause considering I just got smacked upside the face with a rock. But he does, this boss does give you gems, just in case you get hit too much. But you also want to avoid getting hit by those gems, because they are the, the worst of the attacks that he does at you. And the way to damage, damage him, as you can see, is grabbing, or knocking rocks out of their flaming stage, and just uh, throw rocks back at him. Pretty simple. But it, of course, gets harder as more hits I do, so that's why this boss is somewhat annoying, but not too bad. What do you guys say, kid? Oh, Marina, I'll never forget you. This time I'll go quietly. I'm no longer a child. We're looking for King Aster, who is missing in the cave. He is... he's in here somewhere. All right. For the sake of Miss Odin, we won't let the Emperor rule us any longer. Okay, I wonder who's Odin. Or Ondin. Can't say stuff today. Okay. There's something down here. Oh, there's another red gem. What's up, kid? You're still being affected by magic? We'll change that. <clears throat> okay, looks like another one of the spike ones. Crap. The clan pot is probably the most common type of mini boss you'll see here. Alright, I might even speed up the video here, but we'll see. Ow. Ah, come on, game shit. Alright, this level can take a long ass time, especially if you get lost, which can be possible, which this is highly, this is definitely a reason why it's just to keep tabs the red gems that you collect. Like. Otherwise, you're just gonna put yourself in the world of hurt. Ow, ow. And this is, that's what I mean about the, the games, or trying to grab too many spike balls. Ow, fuck you, damn it! Stop being a dick with that bomb! Oh my god, there we go, god, I like grabbed 20 spike balls and I missed with a bomb! Alright, I won't miss with this one. <laughs> awesome. Alright, what do you gotta say, kid? Wow, that was close. Thanks, Marina. You know what happened to my brother? I have to get back home my mom. Thanks again, Marina. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's see what this over here. Oh, this is a maze, guys. Or this is a map of the level. Right now, I think we're... <coughs> maybe right here. Okay, so maybe I should use this save point, because it will, should lead me up to that corner. It's a pretty cle clever way of continuing things. Problem is that we'll also remove the red or replace the red gems that you collected. But since I'm on the other side of the map, that's okay. All right, now I guess the easier easier way to beat this guy is to jump before throwing the thing up to ensure that it hits. Because if you do it on the ground, there's a chance that it could just bypass him completely and waste your time with it. Ow, fucker. I know I've been using that feature a lot, but... Shoot, I'm trapped! So you're the reckless hero heroine Marina. I'm sorry. The Tyrann is always talking about you. Though I don't think you're as cute or smart as he's always saying you are. Oh, well, you're probably just jealous, aren't you? Alright. Well... That's over with. I gotta get in here. Probably another one. Probably one of the laser tanks or something. What you wanna bet? No, it's a fucking clam pot. How not happy I am to see it. Alright. I think the reason why it's probably easy to jump up in the air before kicking up the rock is because there's no device to it. I'm like, as opposed to this. Yeah, that's definitely the reason. Okay. Thanks, Dan. Thanks for teaching us how to save time. This is fucking clam pot away. Yeah, man. Alright, that's done with. What's this kid gotta say? So, you're Marina. Celeste told me all about you. You know where Celeste went? I'm heard she was kidnapped by Kalina. I should have protected her. Well, we can't always do everything, kid. 
Alright, there's more of that evil magic. And I think this is probably the last one that we need to find. The last kid we need to find. Hopefully it is. Oh, probably laser tank. And we're... Right, I'm definitely glad I'm speeding up the video. I'm speeding up the video. I'm not even speeding up the video. And of course it helps you jump. Alright. Yeah, it helps you like, maybe jump up in the air before you... So that way you can just like grab... Air you grab like a bunch of rocks. Makes this fight a little bit quicker. Good job, Marina. Way to kick some more ass. What do you gotta say, kid? Wow, it's a mirror of my Marina. She even moves on her own. Cool. I'm not a doll fool. Alright, so I think we're gonna stop here, guys. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Next time we're gonna learn more of this. So hold on just a moment. Or, wait. Adios, guys. Sorry about that.